Ladies and gentlemen, Bungle, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're having a great day. If you're unfamiliar with me, my name is Bungle, and today we're going to be talking about kind of the best moment right now to play the Battle of Normandy campaign, and, and to play as Germany is actually right now. And you may be wondering, why, you know, why Bungle, why, why would this be the best time to go and, you know, start grinding the German tech tree, and it's actually pretty simple. If you notice kind of with the game or kind of how the meta, 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 whatever you want to call it works, is that usually when there's a new update, let's say for a campaign level, so right now we're going to focus on Battle of Berlin because that's the most recent one that came out. There's been a lot of added content to it, I think up to level 29 or 26 or something. So there's an incentive to grind, right? So the most experienced players, especially on the United States side, that have the Jumbo or they have, you know, the Shermans and stuff like that, the Thompson, you know, P47, A20G, those type of players that are already grinded it out. And, you know, I can speak from ex- experience here because I already maxed out the campaign level for the Allies for Normandy is that there really is no incentive to play besides maybe doing an event. And as you notice with the latest event here, you can see a lot of experienced U.S. players playing just to get the event task done. But now, since that event's over, and since kind of Battle of Berlin's kind of the flavor of the month, and then we're going to be probably looking at Battle of Tunisia coming out soon, you're going to see that those high-level players aren't going to be really coming back to play Normandy at all. And as a result... That means if you're playing as Germany or whatever, one, you're not going to really see that much fierce competition. And to be honest, is that the Germany does have a clear advantage up until the United States starts getting like the A20G, the Jumbo, and stuff like that. And that when that starts coming in, and that's when Germany starts, uh, starts to struggle a little bit. And what I've noticed is I've been playing with my Panzer 3M and Panzer 3N, but I've been pretty much maximizing my premium squads as much as possible. Um, and this, this includes, of course, using the pre-order or the machine gun bundle of the BAR, using my Panzer 3M, uh, the one with the 50 uh, millimeter cannon instead of the 75, the short barrel one, because that one's a premium one, and you get bonuses for using the 55, you know, 50 millimeter cannon, so you get all these bonuses since it's a premium tank. Using that, maximizing my potential with premium squads and everything like that, I've been earning, you know, a lot of XP we're talking about. On an average game, 30 to even 40, um, I think 40,000 or whatever XP or something like that. And it's a lot. It's a big XP gain. And it's very, I'm not going to, you know, demean the allied teams, but the competitive players or the stronger player base isn't there because they're out playing Battle Berlin. If you notice, if you play Berlin, you can see that the skill gap or the competitiveness is way higher then let's say Battle Moscow or Invasion of Normandy. And the reason why is because the most experienced or skilled players are trying to go and unlock or maximize the tech trees for both of those. So kind of my recommendations here, if you're new to the game or you're trying to work on Germany, but you put it down a little bit because of the jumbo menace and all that, I would consider you know maybe logging in today or whenever date you're watching this video, hopefully before an event or any update comes out to Normandy, that you go ahead and, you know, start working on it and maximizing those tech tree levels because it is a lot easier to play. It's very, like I said, I was getting way more XP gains than I normally would on the allied side. And the main reason, like I said, is those experienced players aren't hanging around. They're mostly out doing Battle of Berlin right now. And the only time you're going to see them return is, let's say, there's an event that involves doing stuff like tank kills and everything like that. Then they'll go back to Normandy. Or if there's a added, you know, campaign levels for the Allies and Germans for Normandy, then those players are going to return back. But mostly, I would say now is a great opportunity to go and grind. It's been very enjoyable. The Germans have been winning a lot, have a very good team composition, and you definitely get a lot of big rewards for winning. So if you're interested in doing it or you just put it down for a little bit, I would say go ahead and try it right now. And hope you all enjoy the gameplay in the background. My 300 sub subscriber video should be either out today or coming up soon. And I just want to thank everyone for continuously subbing and everything like that. I appreciate the new subs and new viewers, new subscribers, commenters, everything. Like I said, your suggestions for videos, I do have my list. I'm writing it down. So just be patient with me. I'll get to it. But I really do appreciate your constant engagement and everything like that. You really all mean a lot to me. Appreciate it. Thanks for staying around and being a bungleite. And probably no one reached this point in the video anyway. So hashtag bungle with smelly socks. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.